The Holder of Perception. In a certain city, in a certain country, you must find the cheapest motel possible. Once there, wait outside the entrance for a few minutes to see if anyone else enters. If someone does, walk away. You're in the wrong city. If you do not see anyone enter, however, you may go in. Walk up to the man behind the desk and remain silent. He will smile at you for a while before becoming annoyed with your silence and ask if you have a reservation. Reply yes, and when he asks for a name, tell him the holder of perception. The man will look at you like you're playing a joke on him. Remain sure of yourself, or at least appear to be so. If he believes your act, he will slide you the key to your room. You may or may not take the time to notice that in the place of numbers there will be three realistic pictures of eyes on the attached keychain. Proceed to your room. You must find it yourself. Worry not, for the motel is cheap. They don't have that many rooms. Once you have located your room, you must make a choice. The key you were given will work for any room. Use it on any room other than that specified by the keychain, and you will be able to leave the motel and resume your normal life. If you use the key on your room, however, you will have to complete the trial, or at least attempt, if you wish to leave at all. Should you choose to use the key on its proper door, once you unlock the door, the key will slide back out, missing all of its teeth, essentially becoming a blank once more. If you choose to discard it at this point, you may go on with the trial, but know that you will never finish. Whether you keep the key or not, the inside of the room will have three features. The first will be a bed, the second a desk with a computer, and the final shall be a small radio with a stool next to it. If you sit next to the radio, a sound will immediately play at such a pitch that you will die in seconds, the last thing you ever know being what you perceive to be the worst possible sound on the planet. Should you choose to sit in front of the computer, you will immediately be bombarded with pleasurable images that will reduce you to nothing more than a drooling lump of flesh, perceiving nothing more than what you are shown until you die from either thirst or hunger, as your own saliva may serve to keep you hydrated. Should you choose to lie upon the bed, however, you will fall asleep immediately. When you awake, you will be in a concrete room lit by some unknown source. You will be unable to move at first. It may seem to be a few seconds or an eternity. It is up to you to place a time length on the term of your imprisonment. Take the time to observe the box if you wish. Once you are able to move, get up and turn to face one wall, which doesn't matter as they are all perfectly identical. You may even choose to stare at the ceiling or the floor, as in this uniform box, they may count as walls as well. Now visualize a door. No, more than visualize it. If you wish to leave the room, you must come to believe with every fiber of your being. You must be able to see it, smell it, taste it, touch it, even hear the sound of your knuckles striking whatever your door is made of. If you do not meet each of these requirements, you will be stuck in the room until you do. Once you have the door, open it and step through. You will find yourself in a room similar to the one you left, with one difference. The door you just made before is in front of you once more. Don't bother turning back. As you may suspect, it is no longer there. You may know that if you did not give it one, your door now has a knob. If you push open the door, 
you will find yourself once more in a concrete room with your door. This will happen however many times you push open the door until you choose another option. If you pull open, the door will open to pure darkness. Close the door as quickly as possible so that you may have time for a final scream before what lies within the darkness makes you into a meal. If you kept the now blank key, insert it into the keyhole if you have not already pulled the door open. Turn the key, then leave it in the knob and enter the room beyond. It will be dark. Do not worry, because there is no beast here. Imagine a room as strongly as you please. You do not need to force yourself to believe in it. Your surroundings will change to match your imagination. Take note that any details left out will remain absent. In the room, there will be a figure that you did not put there. It will be wearing a white hood that obscures its body from view. Calmly approach it and ask, what is it they perceive? You will be presented with one of five answers, each pertaining to one of the five senses. You will sense the best and the worst of what they perceive. Either end of this spectrum, or even the utter mundane of the middle, will rob you of the sense that was used to present you with your answer. The figure will then disappear, and you will fall asleep. When you awake, you will be in your own bed of the place you call home. Next to your bed will be a small bottle filled with nondescript white pills. The pills are object 712 of 2538. They will restore the sense you lost, but you will lose another. Which sense will you neglect when they come?